Hey guys, it's Michaela, and now I will be teaching how to read and interpret dot plots. So dot plots are usually used for organizing categorical or qualitative data. For example, we can use a dot plot to determine how many piece of, pieces of chocolate each student has in a class of seven. In this case, each dot represents a piece of chocolate that each student has. As we can see from the dot plot, Suzanne has six pieces of chocolate, and David has nine pieces of chocolate, and so on. So the important thing to remember about dot plots is that the dots represent the frequency of each result because frequency is the number of times an observation occurs. Okay, so now let's try making a dot plot on our own. Two dice were tossed 32 times and the sums of the die were recorded. 3 occurred one time, so we put 1x next to 3. 4 occurred three times, 3x is here. Uh, 5 occurred two times. 6 occurred four times. 7 occurred nine times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, eight occurred six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nine occurred three times. Ten occurred three times. And 11 occurred one time. So how convenient. Does this shape look familiar? It looks like it is symmetric. It looks like the normal distribution. Okay, so that is how you make a dot plot.